Because zinc is a naturally passivating material, this resulted in a working hypothesis that directs our work, and that is that zinc will passivate, and when it does so, it cannot stop the corrosion of steel. And the objective of our experiments is to directly test that hypothesis. And one of the tools we use for that is this computerized potentiostat right here. This is also a very common tool to find in a corrosion lab, and it lets us do cause and effect experiments in a very systematic way. And one of our experiments and what we're doing right now is we're confirming that the zinc passivates in sodium carbonate solution. And we do that by measuring the open circuit potential. And that's what's shown on the computer screen here. Another piece of equipment that's very important to these studies is the cell, which is what we use to expose the material to the electrolyte in order to measure its electrochemical properties. And here we have two examples of cells. This one is what is called a flat cell. It's being used in the current experiment. And this is one we call a vertical cell that was used for an experiment ju just finished. And these are but two varieties of cells that we may use. And these are pretty much off the shelf cells, but we also have some that we designed for very specific experiments. And we have those made at a machine shop as needed to fulfill very specific needs. This is an experiment that we call surface evolution. And what that entails, as you can see, there's a battery of cells here that are filled with electrolyte. And there are two rows. One has a row exposed to an, an aggressive electrolyte and another row exposed to a non-aggressive electrolyte. And after a certain amount of time, these are given a visual examination with a CCD camera on a microscope for documentation. As you can see here, we have a microscope that's used for the visual examination and it's fitted with a CCD camera, which is attached to the computer so we can make computer documentation of each sample.